How did you hear about uh, the Ultimate Fighter? That's a great story. I didn't. Frank Bishop called me up. I'd given up. I was actually I scheduled to take a fight at heavyweight in at Atlanta, I think, for like 500 bucks that November. And so I was kind of training for that, but my best grappling partners were like a buck 65, a buck 70, um, you know, so, you know, and then I would just go to the, I didn't have any Muay Thai there, but then I would go to like the boxing gym, which is a pretty serious boxing gym, especially when you're a cop and they don't really love you for that. But uh, so I was just doing that and I was just working full time and I was trying to study for the GRE, maybe go back and get a master's so I could advance a little, maybe get like a federal law enforcement job. And you know, I had life going on, you know, I had, I think I had a girlfriend at the time. And uh, you know, I was like 24. And then all of a sudden Frank calls me up and he's like, hey, you know, you wanna, you got this opportunity. And then it was 17 days, you had to give 21 days notice at the department I was at to be like eligible for rehire. And then you had to work there for, for over a year to take a leave of absence. And I've worked there for like 11 months and 12 days. And I was like, man, fuck everything. I missed it by four days. I missed it by 20 days, you know? And so I was basically, I had to give up everything if I wanted to go. Yeah. So I did, I put everything in storage and then um, I never did pay the storage for it. So I always looked for my stuff in storage wars. So how did uh, Dana know about you? Like, I don't think he did. Uh, so I talked to, I talked to Joe Silva. I can bump that table. I talked to Joe Silva like a year before, over a year before. And you know, Joe Silva, it's funny, I was so happy to talk to Joe Silva. And he's basically like, don't lose. And we can use you in the UFC in February. But that November I broke my arm. And uh, I was like, fuck this, I'm done. You, you know, uninsured, break your arm. I think I needed a plate, but I couldn't get the surgery because they won't do surgery for free. They'll cast you as many times as they want, but I, you know, elephant non-union, fracture, break, whatever. And uh, so I was just like, I was done. But I was still like, gonna maybe take a little fight on a local level if I could work it around work, you know? Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I was like, hey, do you wanna do this? I was like 235 pounds. I was like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Again, you know, when I was fighting heavyweight, I was always getting too skinny, and then the shows at 205, and you're all huge. That was the last minute replacement, I think, because Jason McDonald failed the test for marijuana. Okay. Jason the Athlete McDonald. So I think he was gonna be on the show. So there, I guess there was some type of money involved with the show too. It wasn't just you were paid for your fights. Were you paid like a fee, a weekly fee? Yeah, it was like 600 bucks a week. It's like extra SAG money, you know, it's not, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't shit. It was less than I was making working. And I was making a whopping 26,000 a year working, so it wasn't a lot of money. Did they pay for your food and everything? Who? Uh, UFC, like for your food. Yeah, yeah, you're living in the house. So they pay for everything because you're in the house on the show. So, I mean, it's 61 days of freeness. Were you surprised that they were doing like all those other challenges, not just fighting challenges? So, I'd never seen a reality show before. So, I didn't know. I didn't even know it was going to be there. Was I thought I didn't think there was going to be a fight until week eight. I thought the people that got picked. You know, the, the, I only thought there was going to be one fight at 85 and one fight at 205 at the end. So I thought I had time to lose 20. <laughs> so how did you do it? No, I mean, I just, I stayed real, you know, real strict. Some of the best, you know, dieting I've ever done, actually. Uh, you know, I, I joked later when I saw myself, like, the last fight in the house, I was like on the extreme uh, muscle loss diet, like the extreme muscle muscle reduction workout plan. So just just overtraining, grinding, not eating. But again, B25 or 26, that's, that's the key. Who is the uh, hardest cast member to deal with in the house, living there, seeing those guys literally all the time? Man, I don't know. I feel like I got along with everybody pretty well, you know? I, I didn't really have any problems. I mean, leaving was 
definitely the biggest, but we seem to always get along. Yeah. What was with you kicking down your, your door? Well, that was Koscheck's room. That's where Koscheck slept. We were in the same okay. room. So he thought Koscheck would be in there, but Koscheck was still away. Yeah, that was hilarious. It's like, there's no locks on any door. So I was like, nah, the door's open. And I was really like, you know, passed out, like asleep, out, you know. That woke me right up though. <laughs>